Lucy. Lucy. Say hello. Hi, Roxy. Hiya, Bailey. Look at all these gorgeous girls. Where are we? Shook it up. Hello, strangers. Hello, hello, hello. It's been a year. So 2021 has gone by and um, I'm still in my lovely cottage. It's clearly nearly Christmas. It's what day is today? 22nd. So we've got another couple of days until Christmas. And I have a little addition called Lucy. I adopted Lucy as a gift for my boyfriend um, for his birthday present and surprised him at the weekend. Rox! Hello! I'm trying to talk. Yes, I have a boyfriend. Um, his name is Martin. He's very lovely and um, everything's going well. But um, we don't have to go into that because, um, you know, I'm happy and that's the main thing. And um, I appreciate the support and everything I've received on Instagram. Um, we're keeping our relationship quite private, just for ourselves so that we can just um, enjoy our relationship without other people's input and um, even though there's a lot of positivity there's also negativity and I don't want to entertain that and have to you know explain myself and my life to other people but um, I've been getting a lot of messages and comments from people saying when are you coming back to YouTube so hello I'm back I think my life has changed so much obviously I got divorced I moved house and uh, me and the dogs are setting up our own life here I trained in aesthetics so I was trying to do that we had a number of lockdowns and um, but as you can see I'm quite happy I'm still in Shrewsbury I'm still going to the gym food I haven't weighed myself um, since I moved out of my old house I haven't tracked food since then I've just been eating and just getting on with life i don't think my body has changed that much um yeah so i'm just I'm, I'm just living my life without restrictions and just living every day and you know some days are good some days are bad but the majority are good days so we just go with that i'm about to go to the gym now in a bit it is a little bit challenging with a puppy that is chasing her own tail but she's not toilet trained she's only week eight weeks old and um yeah she likes to surprise us with her wheeze. She doesn't know how to pee on her pee pee mat, but she's not quite there. So we just have to keep an eye on her. Bailey um, is a little bit wary of her, aren't you, Bailey? Bailey is the baby in her head, so she's not too impressed with this addition. And Roxy's being a very good girl, aren't you, Rox? So yeah, Roxy's a bit too old for the, um, the fun and games, so. Um, Martin has his own dog called Brooklyn and um, she's about four or five and um, I think she'll probably have the most energy for um, little Lucy but um, yeah until he's working until Christmas and I said I'd take puppy home and try and train her a bit and just um, you know it, it could have been that she didn't sleep through the night she has been sleeping through the night the first night she woke up a couple of times but she's sleeping until about seven or eight in the morning and um, which just isn't too bad I've been quite lucky because when we got Bailey she was not a nightmare but she she liked to be up and awake and doing stuff so she didn't like being on her own and um, she's in a crate at the moment only because she's not potty trained um, hoping that once she gets potty trained and has all her vaccinations and everything we'll be able to like get her outside and wean on the grass and stuff and it'll be a lot easier but in the meantime she's in a crate and she's very happy in it to be honest she's been going in and out of it and she likes it she's a big comfy bed in there so she seems to be quite happy don't you Luz? as you chew my sofa so yeah we have a little rascal for christmas i've got my boyfriend and his sons come in for christmas which is exciting we we'll have a full house here and um yeah my best friend danny has moved in two doors down she's been living there a couple of months now bailey bailey play nice yeah so my best friend danny and her three kids um live next door pretty much and um, we're going to see them on christmas day and um, i'm just surrounded by a lot of good people i've been home to ireland once since the pandemic pa since the pandemic oh lucy please don't pull on that she's pulling on the string um yeah i've been home once and seen the family met my little niece who was born during lockdown and um you know i'm in contact with them all the time so that hasn't changed hopefully get back to see them again in the new year um, but 
you know, it's all kind of, I don't know, a little bit, you know, you don't want to book anything too far in advance and because you just don't know what's going to happen with COVID and lockdowns and stuff. So just trying to live every day. I do have quite stressful days where ah, I'm on my own and it's just me and the dogs and stop it. Um, everyone's working and, you know, I'm working from home here and ow! It can be, she's a little rascal, she's a bit hyper right now. Um, yeah, but you know, I, for every bad day where I just want to sleep and I don't want to go out and I am suffering a lot with anxiety and ow! Um, you know, I, it's the days where I still get up and I do things. So yeah, um, depression has played a major role in my life for years now and I don't think I really spoke about it much because I was told not to speak negatively and my content was kind of censored a bit because I didn't want to upset um, anyone or anything so I just did kind of what I felt was easily digested. Not that I was being fake but I just kind of didn't, couldn't be 100% myself so now I can which is nice. We all have um, different issues and definitely my mental health has played a major role in the last couple of years of my life. To pretend that it's not an issue is just, you know, it's making it a taboo subject and it's not a taboo subject. It's something that I deal with and I'm up and I'm doing things and I'm active and you know I have bad days and good days but um, recently it's been quite good. Um, if there's any questions you want to ask, if you're interested in know more, you know comment down below because I'm happy to be a bit more open about what I've gone through and um, how I'm treating it. I am on medication, monitored by my doctor and um, I do do a lot of things to help myself um, daily to just get up and get going and um, not get kind of caught up in negative cycles. The gym definitely plays a major role. It gives me something to focus on throughout the day. I've also started some crafting, which I'm quite enjoying. I'm using like dry flowers and putting them on skulls and um, it's just something that I enjoy to do during the day. So I'm just doing a little update video. Brands I've been working with, um, no major sponsorships, probably because I haven't been on in, um, YouTube and um, you know, my whole social media has kind of taken a back seat to prioritising my happiness. Right now, I've been gifted with uh, some lovely leggings and I'll show you the top and everything in a bit. But um, yeah, I, I'm working with um, Sorry, she's pulling the camera. Stop, Lucy. I've been working with Glutey Wear. They're an English brand. They're owned by um, an English lady who is just killing it. Um, she's an IFBB pro and um, her name is Carly Thornton and she's incredible and incredibly motivating as well. And it's just good to see, you know, um, a, a, a a female brand being created by a female and empowering females and the products are good because they're being made and tested out by someone in the gym who properly works out she's like creating her own lines um, you know to really um how biting me stop you little rascal this is why she's actually called lucifer but we're calling her lucy and she's lucifer by name and nature ow Stop being, there's a teddy over there. But yeah, it's a, just to know that the uh, products are being created for women, by women, and um, yeah, they are really good. So um, I will link it down below if you wanna go check it out. And I have a discount code, um, but they have like the products, they're just so soft. There's just like, I don't know what it is. It's like this stretchy, soft, um, fabric in the leggings and in the tops and all the tops are like super supportive they all have like built-in bras so you've got like little vest tops but they have like a built-in bra they even have um like kind of casual track suits and um they have like loungewear they have like body suits that have a built-in like support which like i've got like the fake boobies so they stay in place but it's still nice to have that added support and the concealing of the nips oh and the bodysuits have like thong backs so you can wear them with your leggings at the gym if you want i'd be more likely to wear them like with my jeans because i don't know about wearing a bodysuit in the gym but like if you're into that look go for it um i'm more into like my slouchy jumper which is actually from tesco's but um yeah underneath i'm actually wearing glutey wear and these are like the seamless um non a lot of their leggings are like a scrunch bun 
so like they accentuate your bum so even if you don't have much of a bum it'll make you look like you have more of a bum but if you have been working on your bum it'll make you look like you have a completely bubble butt going on um yeah so they're just really lovely and they've brought out like some new colors and stuff for christmas they've got like these leggings that don't have the scrunch but they're just nice black i was in a black mood today but tomorrow i'll probably wear my red leggings because you know um they uh, are a bit Christmassy and they got the scrunch butt so that's their new colour. I might just add in a little try on at the end of this just to show you the stuff. Um, but yeah, they're like reasonably priced, good quality, just simple colours, no prints or anything, which I like. I like things to be simple. My plan for the day, go to the gym, walk the dogs. Um, some of my friends are calling over later for a glass of wine to celebrate Christmas. So um, yeah, it's like a simple life. I get up at eight, I go to bed about midnight and um, I've got my doggies, get my gym in, do a bit of work, you know, just get through every day, one day at a time. And it's, it's good to be back. Have you missed me? I think I've kind of missed you guys because when I get like messages from people on Instagram saying come back to YouTube, I'm like, oh, I really need to. But well, I'm just kind of like a bit like apprehensive about it because I, I just can't handle like a lot of negativity right now. I'm just trying to s surround myself with positivity, positive people, positive vibes. And I know there's no escaping the negativity that's in the world. And I try to just like not block it out, but just kind of think like if someone's negative, I kind of say like it's not about you, it's about them. They're obviously going through something and I kind of have sympathy for people who are like negative towards me. Um, it's not, and that's not a weakness in me and um, some people might see it as a weakness but um, being kind of empathetic and you know not letting people away with being like negative or rude but just kind of thinking you know they must be going through something so that's the way I'm trying to do things but I think online there is a lot of negativity you know people think they know you and what's going on in your life and you know my my previous relationship was very public we kept it very private when we were splitting up and um, we kept all the details of it private and it still will remain private and i think like going forward you know i'm in a new relationship over a year together now and we still haven't like done anything too public online and that's our prerogative it's not that it's a secret or anything bad happened we met through a dating app like everyone else does um when i was trying to get back out there dating so if you want to know more about that without going into too many details you know how you get back out there after breaking up with someone or after getting divorced i know like i spent um a good few months just focusing on myself spending time with my friends things like that and like getting myself back on track before i even thought about like going out with anyone or dating anyone and um, but I think that is important, um, you know, to kind of, if you're going through a breakup, to kind of focus on yourself, healing, because um, coming out of a relationship, regardless of what happened, whose fault it was, anything, sometimes there's no, it's no one's fault, it just falls apart, and, you know, regardless, um, you still have to heal, and you still have to grieve the loss of that relationship, the loss of that person, and then come to terms with the moving forward on your own before you even look at getting into another relationship i think that's probably the healthiest way to do it and then even when you get into another relationship there's still going to be oh this is different so you know there's all that process i know i'm rambling a bit but i haven't been on here in so long i, I wasn't even thinking about what i was going to say I'm training about three or four days a week, depending, and um, just enjoying it, getting out there, not worrying too much about it. Um, I'm not training for strength, I'm not training to look a certain way, I'm just doing it because it's what I do, and you know, I enjoy it, and it keeps me, um, keeps me sane pretty much i don't have any like major fitness goals and you don't have to you don't have to be making goals to lose weight or having a goal to do a competition or to be the strongest person to be that you can just have the goal of being healthy and happy easier said than done to be honest but well, that's my goal right now and you know maybe 2022 i might look at doing uh, some different things because in 2022 I'm turning 40 turning 40 where I'm at in my life right now it's not what I thought it would be um, you know it, can, it sometimes makes me sad that I don't have the things that I thought I'd have obviously I'm not married don't have any kids and um, I don't own a home 
um, which sounds really depressing but at the same time I don't have the ties of kids. I had a home in Ireland which I sold recently so I don't have the tie of a mortgage. I'm living in renting this beautiful home which I really love living in and I'm really loving the location, the people who are around me. It's low maintenance, don't really have the brakes, I've got a landlord so you know it's not the be all and end all uh, to buy a house. I've bought one before, I've done that. Like I feel like I have less ties to anywhere. I'm not currently living with my boyfriend. We may look at moving in together next year. We're just happy with how it is right now. We see each other once or twice a week and uh, he lives about an hour and a half away. And yeah, so it's kind of like a long distance relationship. We're constantly in contact. Um, so it's still there, but I'm just enjoying, you know, what life has given me right now because if I focus too much on what I don't have or what I want or you know that kind of thing you get sucked into negativity so it's better to just focus on what you have and enjoy what you have and find daily pleasures in what you have and the freedom you have you know it can be quite upsetting if you start focusing on especially what you think your family life should be or your end goal is and um, just focus on today I'm going to do this and maybe like simple steps along the way that's what I'm trying to do because I can sometimes get very bogged down especially if I'm in like a depressed state of mind I can really get bogged down in what's not happening in my life and what I don't have in my life so and you know every little thing can kind of build in something big whereas you know most little things are actually just little things so let them be that I hope you enjoyed this video I'm going to be uploading more often I just wanted to hop on here and bring some festive positivity to you and you know share where I'm at and um, because I know you've missed me I know it's just a vlog but no, Lainey's back and um, I'll bring you more workouts and um, you know physique updates. I, I'm not sure if I want to do what I eat in a day anymore. It's always good to track your food if you're trying to specifically lose weight. I think it can be healthy but then when you're not in um, you know competition mode and you're just like a normal human going about your day every day and um, it can become an obsession and um, I know it kind of did with me I focused a lot of my energy on looking a certain way because then I felt it would make me feel happy or it would please someone else or you know I had to look a certain way to feel sexy and if I feel I'm losing a bit too much weight I increase my food if I feel like I'm gaining a bit too much weight I stop eating so much chocolate and takeaways and start eating a bit healthier start walking the dogs more you know you just have to look at it that way I kind of just go by how my clothes fit sometimes I have had phases where you know I've just been eating a lot going out to dinner a lot and my clothes have definitely gotten tighter and I'm like okay well I think I need to rein it in a bit so that's where I'm at with my food and um, you know I'm happy to show recipes bits and bobs of what I eat but like I think these what I eat in a day videos I think they can give people uh, a false perception of what you should be eating to eat to look a certain way and obviously what I eat in the day and um, regardless of whether I'm trying to gain weight or lose weight and um, it doesn't really matter because my body is my body and um, I burn energy different to you burn energy regardless of whether we look a similar size and um, everyone's body and their metabolisms are different and their hormone levels so you just need to kind of get to know your body and how it reacts best and that's what I've been doing and just kind of focusing on eating what makes me feel good like energy wise mentally and um, what like makes me maintain like a healthy body and a healthy body image but that's where we're at right now. I think I covered a little bit of everything. But the main thing is that I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm still here. And I hope you are too. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Everybody put them drinks up. Put them up. There's some left, you better drink up. Drink, drink it on X. Oh, you want to know why? Watch. Because we all going by. The sun going down, don't say money cause we go all out say I ain't know I'm going flex Pour it back, back, back it on We all going bounce Now the sun going down, don't say money cause we go all out I ain't know I'm going flex Pour it back, back, back it on X 
Yeah, back it on X like a biggie. Big. Money more problems, but I still make a milli. Nah, I get a milli at the bank, oh, yeah. spend it on the drink, get the shots, go ahead, get tips. tips. Keep your real roll back to see. Hold tight when you ride with me. Hold tight. Watch out. Yeah, we might get off the street. Go from left to the right, hit the curb like skirt. Never roll alone, top down, heads out, bad bitch on the corner star. Why she over there? Pour the drinks, pour the drinks that don't stop. Make it fucking rain for the girls who don't drop. drop. Now we might just rage again. Get the shots and the Mary Jane, it's that stage oh again. Day. Cause we go all night and we just don't sleep. No lifeguard, but we're going in deep. Let me see them hands now, where's my G's? And this shut down, you know me. Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me. Cause bitch, they be hating.